Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a chemist warehouse haul. Chemist warehouse is actually like really good. They have a lot of good sales, especially on makeup. The only annoying thing about chemist warehouse is they put those little security stickers on things and you peel them off and then there's sticky shit everywhere. But anyway, I went there the other day and got a bag of goodies. So let's get into it and I'll show you everything I picked up. If you're not from Australia, Chemist Warehouse is just a giant chemist or drugstore, I guess you could say. They sell skincare, hair care, makeup. Um, you can get your prescriptions filled there, vitamins, perfume, all that jazz. There's so much stuff there. So starting out with the most exciting thing and the reason I went to Chemist Warehouse in the first place was because I saw that Flower Beauty had finally released the blush bombs here in Australia. So anyway, these were on sale for $6.29, originally $9.99. So $10, they're not that crazy expensive anyway. The first shade I got is Bubbly, and this looks like a real bubblegum pink. And the next shade is Pinched, which is like a nice muted kind of peach. So it's got like a medicine dropper applicator. Isn't that a bit weird? Oh, here it comes. Oh my gosh, let's swatch these, shall we? I really like both of them. I think I'll try out this one first. Ooh, they just look so pretty, I'm so excited. <laughs> Now I did have to drive to Chemist Warehouse kind of out of the way to get these because they weren't available at my local. So what I did is I went online and chose the product and then click and collect to see where it was in stock. So just a little tip so you don't waste your time driving around to Chemist Warehouse looking for them. Another makeup product I was really excited to get my hands on is the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter. So this is originally $24.95, but it was on sale for $13.50. That is a damn bargain because there's no way I would pay $25 for this. So I have the shade 201 Daybreak Glimmer. And if I can open it, oh my God. Peel that off. It's getting me really puffed. Oh, jeez. Okay. Seriously though, who would have thought it's so hard? All right, I have it open here. So this is the shade. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. It's like a really nice pale gold. Oh, I don't like want to ruin it. But okay, let's dip my finger in. Oh yeah, see that light hitting it? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it might be a little bit too dark because even though it's a pale gold, sometimes they can still look a bit dark on my really fair skin, but I think that is going to look really nice. I'm so excited to try that. Next, I picked up another one of the L'Oreal Elnit Satin hairsprays. This is like a huge ass bottle. So this was on sale for $8.54. I haven't tried out a lot of hairsprays, but I do like this one. This is a Supreme Hold. I find that when I curl my hair, it keeps them curled. And if I use it to like slick my hair down, it keeps my hair slick. So... That's pretty much all I have to say about a hairspray. <laughs> Another hair product I picked up is the Garnier Fructus Repairing Papaya Hair Food. So this is a hair mask and it does say it's for damaged hair. In my last empties video, I was talking about the Bondi Boost hair mask that I used up, but I wanted to try some more and this one was recommended. So I thought I would pick it up. It was around the $10 mark and it's bloody huge. It comes with 390 mils. So I think this is going to last a really long time. Oh my God, it smells so good. I want to eat that. <laughs> Next, I picked up two products by Maybelline that I needed to get a backup of. First is the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. Man, Maybelline mascaras have always been pretty good to me, but this, I'm wearing it today. 
Like, oh, are you kidding me? It is so damn good. Let me show you what the wand looks like. It's kind of like a hourglass shape. Nice and fluffy, just what I like. And what really gets me about this mascara is that it's not an overly wet formula. I can't stand really wet mascaras because I find they just clump my lashes together. But this is like that perfect in between. It separates, it lengthens, it volumizes. I just, I am amazed. Like I do already have quite long lashes. So most mascaras do a pretty good job, but I can see a difference when I use this mascara. So this was on sale for $13.50 instead of its original price of $25. $25 is pretty steep, but I would pay it for this mascara. And then I got another one of the Brow Ultra Slim Brow Pencils and I got the shade Blonde. I swapped between blonde and soft brown. Today I have soft brown, so as you can see, it is a little bit darker. So I do like the blonde shade if I'm going for more of a natural look, but this brow pencil has been so damn good. It's got a really nice small micro tip, so you can draw nice precise lines. I have hardly any brow hairs on a regular day, so I need something like this that I can be really precise and draw exactly where I need my brows to be. This is usually $17.95, but I got it on sale for $8.99. Onto some skincare, I needed another one of my Neutrogena Hydro Boost uh, water gel or moisturizers and so I got one off the shelf and put it in my basket But then as I was browsing I saw they had this twin pack So in here you get the hydro boost water gel, which is what I was buying and one of the hydro boost what? <laughs> One of the hydro boost night concentrates and it's the same size 50 mils. Don't you worry, I went and I sussed that out. So I end up getting this set for $21.60, originally $23.99. But how good is that? Because one of these is usually worth like $22. So I marched right back and put the other one back on the shelf. And I was like, you know what? I'm trying this one. The water gel I really like in the morning. It's a really nice lightweight moisturizer. So I'm excited to try out the night concentrate. I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit more rich, but still have that nice water gel like consistency. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And then another skincare product, which is a repurchase is the Rosehip Plus Rosehip Oil. I have been using this for years and I do like to mix it up in my skincare routine with my oils, but this has always been a favorite of mine. I find it really helps to hydrate the skin and it also helps with my hyperpigmentation and just marks from my acne. What I've been doing recently though, you know, now that I'm getting closer to 30, is bringing it right down my neck and onto my decolletage area to keep that area nice and hydrated, keep it looking young and fresh, hopefully. It is quite a rich oil, but it is so hydrating and it just feels so nice rubbing this oil into your skin. I freaking love it. It does come in two sizes. I went for the 50 mil because I'm going to be using it a lot. So this was originally $29.95, but it was on sale for $15. Half price, wow. As I was browsing the shelves, I found myself in the deodorant aisle and I have been using a natural deodorant by Schmitz for a few years now. I really love it. And so I come across this natural deodorant by Only Good. They had three different, I was gonna say flavors. They had three different scents. This is the Manuka Honey and Chamomile. Ooh, so it is 100% natural, palm free and aluminium free. I find that natural deodorants just work so much better for me and stop me stinking. So I'm really excited to give this one a go and see if it works as good as my Schmitz deodorant. This one is usually $10, but I got it on sale for $7.20. And then the last thing I picked up is by Rimmel and this is the Brow Pro Micro. And this is a precision stroke pen. I am so excited for this. <laughs> All right, so let's have a little chitty chat about this one, shall we? So I originally tried the MAC Shape and Shade and it's like a felt tip brow product. So you can draw strokes into your brows and it was literally 
the best brow product I had ever used, but it's hella expensive. So I ended up finding the Urban Decay brow blade. This one comes with a felt tip and a micro brow pencil. Fantastic product, absolutely love it, but hella expensive. So I've been on the hunt for a cheaper option. Glossier does make a felt tip brow pencil, but they don't ship to Australia, so. So anyway, I was in Woolworths the other day and I come across the Emco Beauty Feather Brow Pen which is exactly what I was after. Super excited, super affordable. And then when I was in Chemist Warehouse the other day, I saw that Rimmel had one too. <sighs> I was like, get out of here. So this is originally $17.95, but I got it on sale for $9. I picked up the shade Blonde, and this is what the tip looks like. The aim of it is to draw, oh shit, that's thick. <laughs> So that is pretty much the gist of it. You just draw little strokes. I feel like this one is a little bit thicker than what I would prefer. It says it's 0.2 millimeters. And I actually think it's a felt tip, not a brush. Yeah, it's definitely a felt tip. Whereas this Emco Beauty is a brush tip. Let's have a look at the difference. But anyway, it's described to do what I want. So I am really excited to test that out. Oh my God. It's like you put these vibes into the universe. I want this product available to me in Australia. And then within a week, I have two. Wow. All right. Well, that is everything I picked up from Chemist Warehouse. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below if you have tried any of these products out and what your thoughts are because I would love to hear them and have a little chat about it. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I do a bunch of beauty related content, including hauls, reviews, and other stuff. I'm selling it really well, aren't I? <laughs> Make sure you come follow me over on Instagram as well, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.